Welcome to Space Security Challenge 2020, Hackasat, the final event. As the democratization of space opens up a new frontier for exploration and innovation, we see new cybersecurity vulnerabilities emerging. The Space Security Challenge is designed to inspire the world's top cybersecurity talent to develop the skills necessary to secure this last frontier of cybersecurity, space. And already we've made a ton of progress. I'll catch you up. This spring, we hosted over 2,000 teams who worked their way through a set of foundational space cybersecurity challenges in our Hackasat qualification round. Now, eight finalist teams are stepping up to the ultimate challenge. They are hacking a satellite. Welcome to Space Security Challenge 2020, or Hackasat. I'm your host, Jordan Wines, and I'm very excited to be with you today. I'm here in Melbourne, Florida at Hackasat HQ, where eight satellites are spinning out of control as the teams do their best to restore functionality, all for a prize, all for a piece of a $100,000 prize pool. These teams from 11 different countries around the world include not only some that are very familiar to those of us from the Capture the Flag or CTF community, but also include many newcomers who assembled just to answer the call for Hackasat. Let's meet our teams. To get to this final event, individuals on these eight teams had to beat out over 6,000 other competitors for a coveted invitation. This required mastery not only in traditional CTF hacking skills like reverse engineering and vulnerability research, but also in areas new to the CTF community, including orbital mechanics, astrophysics, space-based communication systems, and many others. Today and tomorrow, each of our eight teams will race the others through a series of challenges to regain control over their flatsat. If you followed our story at hackasat.com and launch.com.com, you might know that through some bad code and poor business choices, our defunct launch.com company has accidentally triggered a satellite intended for the year 2000 to be launched in 2020 with no one in control. In our fictional storyline, this satellite has been co-opted by nefarious forces and it's up to our competitors to regain control over the many components. Since qualifying, each team was shipped a physical flat sat, and these flat sats are not only prizes for their qualifying performance, but also allow the teams to become familiar with the hardware and software before this final event. So what's the difference between a satellite and a flat sat? Think of a flat sat as a bench version for testing components of an actual satellite without necessarily being exactly what you would send into space. The satellites you can watch in our live, flat, live webcams are flat sats. But don't worry, not all of the competition this weekend will be terrestrial. The game has actually been underway for one hour now, and our team's first challenge has been to regain control of the ground station that they'll be using to communicate with their flat sats. Being good hackers, of course, we call this Challenge Zero. Challenge Zero. Here's what we know. An adversary has obtained access to the satellite's ground station. Once they obtained access, they kicked us out. The challenge? Teams must obtain network access to the ground station. This is called Challenge Zero because it's required for the teams to even kick the game off. While most of our challenges will have teams focusing on components that are inside of their flat sats, Challenge Zero is all about gaining access to the ground station that they'll be using to communicate with their flat sat. And again, this is not a simulation. All of these eight flat sats may be here on Earth, but they're completely untethered, floating on a cushion of air, and each one being connected wirelessly from a separate radio link. In the first hour of gameplay, 
teams have been getting their bearings and working on solving Challenge Zero. In fact, just before this broadcast went live, we received word that this challenge was actually solved by Team Samurai. Congratulations to them. Let's go ahead and see uh, a little bit more about Team Samurai. Team Samurai is a mainstay in the CTF community. In fact, one of the fun facts about this community is that I've competed against Samurai about as many times as I've actually competed with them. This community is tight-knit, people move around between them, uh, and it's good to see them jump into the lead and uh, take a start on the scoreboard. Uh, they're now going to be focusing on Challenge 1, which we're going to give you a little bit of a hint on what that entails now. Challenge number 1. Here's what we know. Having access to the ground station means we can attempt communication, but the satellite is spinning out of control, which complicates everything. The challenge, teams must regain communication with the satellite. While this event, while this event was originally planned to be in person during DEF CON in the Aerospace Village, Thanks to the tireless efforts of dozens of people involved behind the scenes, we're instead streaming to you live throughout the event. Not only has the game itself been adapted to allow for remote participation from our eight teams over VPN, but the spectator experience has changed as well. There are many different ways you can now experience Hackasat. For a simpler interface, just visit hackasat.com with a web-based scoreboard, these periodic live updates streamed right and center, and links to other resources. For a more immersive experience, head over to virtual.hackasat.com where you can get all of the above and more, including watching our satellites live via one of four dedicated webcam feeds, get more technical game data from the 3D Octagon scoreboard, as well as many other resources about our competitors, the flat sets, the technologies involved in space, and even communicate with other viewers in a dedicated chat and have a few social interactions. No need to remember all that just now, though. All you have to remember is that you can find it all on hackasat.com and virtual.hackasat.com. The Hackasat team is also partnering with the Aerospace Village, one of the many villages you'd normally get to experience in person at DEF CON. After 15 years of attendance, I know I'm not the only one missing many of my friends and our hallway conversations at DEF CON. Hopefully, we can recreate a little bit of that experience here. In addition to all that we have going on at Hackasat, make sure you check out the rest of what DEF CON, the Aerospace Village, and our friends over at Defense Digital Service are doing this weekend. And hope to see you back here as we check in on how our teams are doing and hear more about the vision behind Hackasat at our next update at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern.